Hello everybody, Little Paper Crafter, coming back <laughs> with a Timu haul. Yes, I jumped on the Timu bandwagon and oh my goodness, it's kind of like become slightly addictive. But anyways, um, Little Paper Crafter, both on YouTube and on Instagram, if you're not following me yet, what are you waiting for? Um, please hit the subscribe button that is on the lower right hand side of the video. And then you can also uh, hit notify me when I upload a new video. And you too can come along with me on this crafty journey with <laughs> my YouTube channel. Um, so today what I am gonna do is kind of share with my viewers uh, my Timu my haul. Uh, I got a lot of dyes. And I try, I'm trying to stock up on all my um, Halloween charms, too. So, before everybody else goes out there and gets them, um, I was trying to get mine. So, what we will do is go over the dies. Hold on one second. I'm trying to get what it is that I'm, all my dies so that I can show you. And then we will go ahead and go from there. Um, for the whole team thing, I'm not sponsored whatsoever. This is just me um, coming out and showing you guys what it is that um, I have purchased because there was this one really, really cool um, thing that I purchased and um, I wanted to share and give you guys the same information that I got. Um, so, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try not to make this all that long, okay? Anyways, I should have brought some paper. Oh, look at that. I have my Stampin' Up! 12 by 12 designer series paper right here by me. So, I can go ahead and use that so that you guys can see the, um, the dies. Um, let's see. I got this die. I have no idea. Oh, this is a happy birthday. So I think what I did is I went on a happy birthday word dies haul. Let's go ahead and put this over to the side. Hopefully you guys can see this. This um, die says happy birthday and it looks like there is a backing to it. So it looks like there's a back and then it's the words that come through. A solid and then the wording on this one. And once again, just in case those of you that may have not heard, it's a Timu haul. I jumped on the Timu bandwagon. You know, honestly, I get my orders like within two weeks. And there have been a couple of things that I have tried to return. And the return policy is amazing. Amazing. Um, Like, I had the money back in my account within... 30 minutes almost of when I um, submitted my return. So they are actually, it's in a business perspective, the, the customer service is to the level that I approve of. <laughs> Here's another one that says happy birthday. And this one has the little Mickey. So cute. And let me see, it's a Halloween one. So I'm going to do... Oh, here's another Mickey. It just says love. Isn't that adorable? And I don't know, I don't remember exactly how much each one was, but I know that they were not like over $3. Here's another Mickey one. And this one a lot of people have been getting. Um, that's like a cup or cupcake. The Mickey um, donut or the Mickey cookie. Super cute. I finally got the dog. I didn't have the little dog. Um, let's see. Here's another little dog one I got. Because I have dogs and I love my dogs. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another happy birthday. And here's a thanks. And it comes with the wording and then it comes with the back. These ones I think were like a dollar or something. And then I have the bigger one of this, but I thought, you know what, let me do a small one too. And that's the film, the tickets and the film strip. Super cute. 
And then I got this tag. I'm not too sure what that is, if that's a tag or what. Um, oh, and I got this Mickey tag. Look at, aren't these cute? I was thinking of using these for shakers, shaker bits. And then that's a Mickey tag. Um, let me see, I think the only other ones that I got were Halloween ones. I got charms. Okay, and then I got this, like, um, that's not a rosette, but um, doily type thing. Isn't that pretty? Here, let's see if you can. It's super pretty. Um, and then for Halloween, I got the bats. I think I already have these, though. And I did get the cute little guy. Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. So those are my Halloween dies. Okay, so the next thing that I purchased are um, charms for my dangles. And then I seen these. I can't remember whose Timu haul I was watching. But I seen these glasses. These are, this is like a pen. Aren't they cute? I think I gifted these to, um, I gifted a pair of them to Christian. So you might have seen them in one of her opening boxes. Um... I did get these little flowers. Aren't they pretty? I was thinking I could use them for Christmas, too. For dangles. And then I got these ones, which are the same type of flowers. I'm not going to leave any links down below. If you're interested in anything that I purchased, go ahead and contact me through my IG. And I will send you the link that way, okay? I just... For stuff like this, it's, it takes a little bit too long. These, I got some more coffins for Halloween charms. And then I did pick up these little guys for Halloween charms. They're spooky, but I guess you can try to make them cute, too. And then I did pick up these little guys with the little kitty cat. Hopefully, you guys can see. And then the cabochons that I picked up. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take these out because I don't even remember which ones I got. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at the little kitty on a broom. And then there's this pumpkin with a little hat. And it seems like there's two of each. However, there's not two of this. Oh, and there's two ghosts. These I think were a dollar something. These were not expensive either. Look at this one. Isn't that one pretty? Well, not pretty, but it's cute. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully, the screen is not too blurry. Super cute, right? And then, oh, I think I showed you guys this one already. And then there's a little pumpkin. And then a little hat. I might buy another batch of these. Because I was thinking about these you can, like, put on the middle of rosettes or, like, your 3D projects or something like that. Super cute. Let's see. And then I bought some of these, and I bought these to put them in the middle of my flowers. There's a whole bunch of different colors. These turn out really pretty when, when I use them in the middle of my flowers. And then I bought these. I can't remember who it was that I was watching. But these were super cute. And I bought them for dangles. They're kind of like mushy. Like erasers. But they're not erasers. And I thought that I can use them as dangles. Super cute. They're little Mickey heads. Um, yep, yep, yep. And then the big thing that I wanted to share with you, because this, to me, was like a life changer, okay? I got this. I was watching somebody, and I'm telling you, I watch way too many YouTube hosts. I can't remember who it was. Um, but I did not come up with this on my own. She bought these for storage. And... It comes like this, and each page, 
you can put openings for each section on each side. So what I did is I actually bought the magnets from Timu, but I might go check out Harbor Freight or something um, to use magnets on both sides. And these I am storing my dies in here. And these ones I'm storing my dies in, and I'll show you right now. I just vacuumed too, and my dogs are all over, the, their dog hair is all over the floor. So for instance, this, and what I did is I just took some yarn, and um, I'm using that to, you know, close it. So this, for instance, this section is my B section. And I put magnets on both sides. These are my B's. And this is words, the B words. I think I got case craft. And then here's the little basket. This is mostly case craft. And then it seems like I did put a little bit of flowers in here, which I didn't, I forgot that I did that. And then here's a butterfly. And then this was like the envelope. This was the case craft envelope. So I meant for this to be like the summer dies. And I don't know, let me see. Nope, I didn't put it down there yet. Um, and this one, I think I was trying to figure out what this one was. I know this is case craft. <laughs> and this one is like a case craft um, teacup. So what I did on some of them and what I'm gonna continue to do is um, use the address labels and um, put what company they are, how many dies go in there, and um, when I got them. So that I know what the dies are and what I'm looking for. So see, like this one says, Case Craft and Belly Box. So this is the embellishment. So there's more that I need to fill and these are that was supposed to be my summer dies and then this is my word dies so what I did is in that same address label I wrote down the words that these spell out I haven't done it on all of them but if it was like something that was kind of difficult for me to read I wrote them out on the address labels or I cut them out so that I knew I know what brand that it is and see like this one, this label was one that I did last year and it was Case Craft 2002 or 2001. And then some of my words I already had cutouts, pre-cut outs, so I put them in the front. See like this one I put stamping up. So these ones are all, well not all, I have a whole bunch more. Well not a whole bunch more. I don't know. Um, but these ones are my word dies. So this um, folder will be word dies and summer dies for this folder. And then, you know, I got more folders that I'll, that I want to try to put together and, um, and use to store my dies. Now, another one that I got and I haven't filled these ones is, here's a little small one, and I put my little small dies in there. I haven't cut out the um, magnets yet for it. But this is another one that is very similar to the one I just showed you, and you can put magnets on both sides, and it's a folder. But these are like for the smaller dies. So I'll fill those in. So what I was thinking about is all, like all my Scrap Diva dies, I'll put them in in a big folder. All my Halloween dies go in one folder. All my Christmas dies go in one folder. All my like um, 3D dies, if I can fit them in there, I'll put them in there. Or my rosettes or something like that. But categorize my my um, binders, I guess you could say. And I think it would be easier for me to do that too for when I go on my little crops that I go on. Um, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys informed. And then this one, I really like this one, but I only bought one of this one. And this one, I 
is is another folder but it is um it's only one pocket let me see there's only one pocket that it has so it um doesn't what I'm doing is like for instance I'm putting all my stamps in here along with their dies so like these are all my summer stamps that came out so I'm holding them all in in here instead of uh, storing them well, I'll just take it out storing them in the um, in the case that they come in so instead I'll put them in here so that I can once again carry my stamps and their dies together that apply to a certain thing um and all of those I got from Timu um that is about it and once again this video was not um sponsored I hope some of these gave you guys some ideas or um I showed some items that you may have um wanted to put on your um in your basket your your I need list um, if you have not already done so please like the video and then if you are not following me yet please hit the subscribe button and then also hit the um, notify you whenever I upload a new video so that you too can come along with me on this YouTube crafty journey um, hope that you guys are doing wonderful and I'm um, having a good day, good night, good evening, whatever it may be that you are watching this video. And um, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.